Well, not even 24 hours after the Florida school shooting, students with cell phone cameras caught chaos at Carmel High School. Tonight, the principal is reassuring students and their families that there is no safety threat there. Our David McAnally talked with parents who are struggling to decide whether to keep their kids at home tomorrow after a tense week on campus. Thursday night here at Carmel High School, they've got some wind, some rain coming down, cooling things off after an emotionally hot day. Carmel High School Thursday. Are we supposed to leave? A student's cell phone captures a student falling hey, I'm, I'm done. and fleeing. The tension Thursday led to an online petition to close Carmel High School Friday with thousands signing. So what happened here one day after the Florida school mass shooting? This happened in the Carmel cafeteria. Staff restrained a student with special needs who allegedly attacked a school employee. In the chaos, somebody yelled, quote, it's happening, and students started running from the building. Some parents came to pick them up. For his safety, I, I feel that um, things are out of control and better safe than sorry. Everyone's so freaked out, like, tension's really crazy, you know. I don't know, it just makes coming to school, like, a lot less, like, enjoyable. I can't focus on learning. On top of all that, a student was also found with a knife on campus Thursday and taken into custody. And one week ago, police detained a male student who allegedly accosted a girl with a knife in a school bathroom. Nobody was hurt in either case. To be clear, a threat was never made. On video, Carmel High Principal Dr. Tom Harmus quashed rumors on Thursday of threats posted on social media. Social media, when it is used incorrectly, can be damaging to people. At school Thursday night. My kids wanted to stay home tomorrow because um, I think it's, you know, all the kids are doing it, but I think the high school definitely has it under control. I mean, the, the police department, everybody's involved. They wouldn't be having the school open if, the, you know, there was any safety concerns. We just pray, and the kids aren't scared, you know, to go to school because they feel like they're protected, and they have a lot of, you know, security there. And so um, they feel fine with that. The high school already set for at least a three-day weekend. Monday is already a day posted off. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. In the past